Hello aspirants welcome to IS mentorship i welcome you all to the next session of our prelims bites and thank you very much for your overwhelming response about this session because i am also very much confident about this session that this session will give you a proper edge in your upcoming prelims examinations clear so in previous lecture we have started with your biotechnology we have done biotechnology then also we have done information and communication technology now next session will be on space technology which is also very important for you and this will be your part 1 clear part 1 for the field of space technology fine and now i am going to tell you agenda for today's session that what will be the agenda first we will look some previous year questions related to space technology clear <laughs> first we will be discussing that why space technology is important and how questions are coming then we will be going to concepts okay concepts how we will be learning about the concepts first here we will take current affairs current affairs in last 1 to 1.5 years whatever Uh, any type of topic it has come in last one to one point five years in the field of space technology that we will take and we will link this topic with your static portion of science and technology. So with this we are covering everything. Previous year questions also we are covering. Then your current affairs also we are covering and also we are interlinking with static part and your science and technology is done. so this will be our agenda for the class i hope you all are with me focus here if you are uh, looking in this session your everything your previous year questions your current affairs your static portion everything will be covered clear okay with this let us start with our previous year questions and we will understand that what type of questions are coming in the field of science and technology fine if we talk about the first question that came in the year 2022 that which one of the following statements best reflect the idea behind fractional orbital bombardment system often talked about in the media now you need to tell that what is the meaning of fractional orbital bombardment system or fobs by looking on all these options you need to tell now here i am going to just tell you the answer what is the answer and then i will try to explain to you see basically answer is option number c that it is a type of mis missile that is put into a stable orbit around the earth and it deorbits over a target on the earth basically it's a weapon okay and this weapon is used to destroy a target and this all the command is fed into the missile the missile goes into the space and what it does see this is our earth fine and the missile goes into the space and starts to orbit okay and it starts to orbit here and suppose if here is my target i need to destroy this place so basically it will deorbit which means that it will lower its height and then target here and it will attack here so this is your fractional orbital bombardment system why fractional because it is reducing the orbit it is deorbiting it, it is decreasing the speed in a fraction clear so this is the answer for your 2022 statement because basically why it was in news it was in news because china was going to launch this and everywhere there was chaos that what type of weapon china is going to launch okay let us move ahead with your next question that is your 2020 part the experiment will employ a trio of spacecraft flying in a formation in the shape of an equilateral triangle that has one side million kilometer long with lasers shining between the craft this experiment in the question refers to what these are all the statements you need to find out this description is for which mission okay is for which experiment so telling the answer the answer is option d evolved lisa or it is also known as e lisa basically e lisa is having a mother mother spacecraft with two daughter spacecraft it is attached it is they are arranged in a type of equilateral triangle you can see it is mentioned here 
एंड बेसिकली दे आर यूज टू डिटेक्ट द ग्रेविटेशनल वेव इन स्पेस दे विल बी डिटेक्टिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑकरिंग ड्यू टू ग्रेविटेशनल वेव ओके सो दिस इज द एम ऑफ योर इवॉल्व लीसा लीसा फुल फॉर्म इज लेजर इंटरफेरोमीटर स्पेस एंटीना क्लियर सो दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन इज अबाउट योर ई लीसा एंड नाउ यू कैन सी दैट हाउ मच एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड मिशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट लेट अस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पी वाई क्यू दैट इज दैट केम इन ईयर ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन दैट रिसेंटली साइंटिस्ट ऑब्जर्व द मर्जर ऑफ जॉइंट ब्लैक होल्स बिलियंस ऑफ लाइट ईयर्स अवे फ्रॉम द अर्थ वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन By telling the answer, answer is option number B that gravitational waves were detected. Again, gravitational waves here also. Here also hidden was gravitational waves. So you need to focus on this aspect that gravitational waves are very important. Clear? So what is black hole? See, black hole is that area in your universe, in your galaxy, where anything is not able to escape. okay anything is not able to escape that is your black hole fine so using this merger of giant black holes two black holes were merging out billions of light years away and this was basically helped us to find out the gravitational waves happening in the space clear next question um, question that came in 2018 you need to focus that light is affected by gravity universe is constantly expanding matters warps around space time which of the following statements are prediction of albert einstein theory of relativity often discussed in the media see first you need to know that what is albert einstein's theory of relativity basically this theory says that there is only force that is your gravitational force that is only gravitational force that is binding each and everything on the earth basically it is saying that there is no other force there is only gravitational force that is binding with all the objects and that is why all the objects are coming together okay so this was your general theory of relativity now if you know that gravitational force basically if you know that relativity this theory is related to gravity you will mark this answer correct this, you will mark this con option correct yes this also said that the universe is constantly expanding option 2 is also correct and now what i said that matters are coming together so matters are warping together so this statement is also correct so by this we can arrive at the answer option number d 2018 next going to next option 2017 c elisa how much it is important in 2022 we learned about elisa and in 2017 a direct question came that what is the purpose of this so as i have al already explained to you that it, the purpose was to detect the gravitational waves see gravitational waves and all the projects are very important so you can mark here that you need to focus on gravitational wave and you need to search all the current affairs related to gravitational waves which were in news clear fine let us move ahead guys the term event horizon singularity string theory and standard model are sometimes seen in the news in the context of 2017 now tell me event horizon singularity string theory obviously it is all describing universe so you if you look all these options this option is your umbrella it will include all these b c and d so with this logic you can mark the answer a even if you are not able to answer clear event horizon singularity string theory standard model all are related to universe only so 2017 asking about universe next question number 2016 that came in the year 2016 it was about astro sat astro satellite it's an astronomical observatory launched by india which of the following statements are correct first one other than us and in russia india is the only country to have launched a similar observatory into space 
Next, at AstroSat is a 2000 kg satellite placed in an orbit at 1650 km above the surface of the Earth. See, here only is written. Only is often termed as your extreme words in prelims. So, only 95% of the cases the statement is wrong. So, this statement is wrong because India is not only the country. Japan has also did it. Okay. Next, AstroSat is a 2000 kg satellite placed in an orbit of this. This fact is also wrong. This fact is also wrong. It is around 1500 kgs and your orbit 1650 orbit is very far away. Just 650. Clear? So, with this we can say that both the statements are incorrect. Neither 1 nor 2 is your answer. Fine? Okay. With this, I hope that everything is clear to you. How PYQ is being asked missions and your spacecrafts and your astronomical lab laboratory, gravitational waves. Clear? <laughs> Next, in the year 2015, in which of the following activities are IRS, Indian Remote Sensing Satellites are used? Assessment of crop productivity, yes. Locating groundwater resources, yes. Mineral exploration, yes. Telecommunication, no. Traffic studies, no. Basically, telecommunication and traffic studies will not be included in Indian Remote Sensing System. Okay? Because this positioning of IRS requires geostationary orbit. Okay. So, for this, all these statements are uh, telecommunication and traffic satellites studies are not there. Okay. Okay. I am giving you 10 seconds look on this question and try to analyze once again. See, assessment of crop productivity, yes, we need to do that so that we can analyze that which part of which area has been equipped with what type of crop. Okay. For IRS, uh, for telecommunication and traffic studies, this geostationary satellite is used because we need to focus on particular area. But this here, the IRS is being used. You can see here the IRS is being used to tell various things such as your national economy based everything is there. Okay, national economy such as your agriculture, water resources, forestry. Whichever is related to national economy, IRS is used and for telecommunication and satellite, geostationary satellite is used. Clear? I hope it is clear to you. Fine. Let us move ahead. And before going to our current affairs part, we are done with your PYQs part and now we are going to learn about concepts. Before that, I would like to introduce you with our IS mentorship program under the guidance of Riyasat Ali sir. Uh, this program is very holistic and concentrates on the connect between your coach and aspirant which is very necessary during the peak times. Clear? For any details, you can give a call on this number. All your query will be resolved. And we are also having an IS Mentorship Foundation program. This is also under the mentorship of your Yasat sir. He will help you in all the holistic aspects of UPSC examinations. Everything is included in this program. For any query, again, you can give a call on this number. You will be guided by sir. Clear? Now, let us move ahead, guys. We have completed your PYQ part as I have already told you in the agenda. That what was your agenda? Firstly, we will be covering your PYQs related to space technology. This we have done. Now, next we are going to interlink your current affairs with your static portion. So, that your current affairs is also done and your static part is also done. Clear? Fine. Let us move ahead and see some space related news which has been in going on and the first one is your atmospheric pressure of Pluto. Pluto is very important planet which is again and again coming in the news. See we all always know that Pluto was one of the nine planets on our solar system but however 
this pluto couldn't came or couldn't verify all the criterias which were required to be a planet that's why pluto was discarded as a planet and now solar system is left with just eight planets pluto is a dwarf planet now okay it is a dwarf planet it has not fulfilled the criteria of being a planet basically it is telling that what kind of atmospheric pressure is there and etc etc some observations has made about pluto the important thing you need to know is your occultation now what is occultation see if you are standing here and you need to see the pluto okay you need to see the pluto with a telescope you will see but now if any another say any satellite any debris any waste or any asteroid comes into your path your view towards pluto will not be clear and this phenomena is only your occultation it is when a celestial object is obscured from observer's view due to another celestial objects passing between them obscured means hidden okay if this gets hidden because of another celestial objects passing between you that is your observer and your another celestial objects this gets the view get faded away and this process is only known as your occultation and pluto is the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system it is you this is very important fact for your prelims examination clear yeah it is located in the keeper belt a zone beyond orbit of neptune keeper belt which means that if this is your solar system here are your planets okay here so all the so if we exclude all the orbit here far away is your keeper belt and here only pluto is there okay and you need to also remember that nasa's new horizon space probe made a close flyby to pluto which space probe new horizon it has went very near to the pluto to collect what is happening and through that observation only we have found out some of the atmospheric pressure found in pluto clear <laughs> what observations were made during by this probe first was the diameter is this much and it is the diameter which have been calculated is 1/5 of the diameter of your earth clear 1/5 of the diameter of the earth very small earth and the only 2/3 as wide as earth moon fine see what it is saying that pluto's diameter is 1/5 of the earth and it is 2/3 as wide as earth moon clear so this is everything about pluto some facts you need to know and what else you need to know you also need to know the new horizon you also need to know about facts of pluto see so here we have linked your current affairs also what was the current affairs that atmospheric pressure has been found out in pluto by which we have discovered it by new horizon we have discovered and other facts they, these are all static portion so in the similar way we are going to the next topic that is your chemically peculiar stars now leave this whatever content i have written here just try to see on this picture what do you observe see we can observe that there is a very bright light here here this portion very bright light is coming high luminosity why it is being so because here stars are clustered Cla stars are clustered what do, what i am saying that stars have came together and because of their overall light they are producing high amount of luminosity when stars are closest passage of binary system a sudden increase in the integrated brightness happens this is only increase in the brightness because why because stars have came closer they are now grouped they are now clustered so this is only your chemically peculiar stars you need to understand and now when they are showing this brightness this brightness is only known as your heartbeat 
what we called as a heartbeat the name heartbeat was coined from the similarity of the light curve of star system if their brightness was mapped over time clear so heartbeat you understood chemically peculiar stars you understood these are nothing but a stars coming together to produce high amount of luminosity or brightness but now what will happen when these stars will move away they will not only always stick together right they will be moving away the light variation falls and finally become flat obviously the light will get dimmed when stars will move away from the group the light will get dimmed and this is this will result in alternating peaks that some some at some point of place there is very dark light at some point there is very less light so this is only heartbeat the changing variation of the lights because of the stars movement clear fine until now about 180 heartbeat stars has been known to date clear so this is only everything about your chemically peculiar stars which is very important for your <laughs> prelims examinations it is nothing but a group group of stars producing high amount of brightness next topic solar flare solar refers to sun flare refers to a very bright product produced intensity of light basically they are a burst of energy caused by magnetic fields line near the sun spot see first i would like to explain that over the sun surface there are some spots that are in black color okay that are in black color which means that they do not receive as much as light as other parts of the sun have so these black spots are only your sun spots clear the solar magnetic cycle which operates produces region that rise to the surface and that is only your sun spot clear and they are cooler as compared to the rest and that is why and so they are dark clear so this is your sun spots they are cooler as compared to other because they are not having so much of heat as compared to the other surface and this is your sun spots understood now understand what is solar flare basically what's happen in inside the sun many processes be done right inside the sun many processes be done now this energy which is stored in the magnetic field of your sun it gets converted into light and heat understood the energy which is stored in the magnetic structure of the sun is being converted into light and heat during solar flare and when light and heat are coming together they are emitting high energy x ray radiations and high accelerated charge particles very important see what is solar flare basically high energy coming from the earth simple in simple language if you want to understand solar flare is nothing but a very high energy radiation and that to x ray radiation produced by the surface of the sun as light and heat are coming together now you can see see this is the surface but here something extra is coming out from the sun can you see this is only the solar flare this is solar flare and when the solar flare is accelerated when a large amount of solar flare is starts to happen coronal mass ejection happen coronal coronal is the outer surface of the sun mass ejection happen when solar flare caused hot plasma to be ejected out from the sun basically it is saying this only okay this part this yellowish is your heat coming out and light coming out but when inside the inner portion of the sun start to emit matter like this which is very much hot and very much high intensity that is your coronal mass ejection clear and these all creates a very beautiful phenomena in the sky that is known as your auroras okay and recently you can see what was there in the news that recently solar flare caused a radio blackout because of solar flare the radio signals were disturbed over indian ocean understood it they disturbed indian ocean's radio signals fine so i hope everything is clear to you guys what is coronal mass ejection what is sun spots what is solar flare what is auroras and what is the news 
so here we have covered news also and your static portion also so with this let us move to the next topic that is your nisar what is nisar nasa isro synthetic aperture radio radar okay nasa isro star in the words itself it is saying nasa isro so this means that it is a joint collaboration between your nasa and isro now what will mission what this mission will do basically it will place a synthetic aperture radar which will be which has so much good accuracy that it can map the earth surface movement even if the movement is small as 0.4 inches over an area fine see basically we have used here sar i am telling you explaining you here one thing suppose it is your earth and i have placed my satellite here now because of the dust clouds form and a layer of dustiness comes over earth now tell me will my satellite be able to map the earth movement no because this has been obstructed by dust and clouds but this sar the synthetic aperture radar has a very good accuracy that it can penetrate through these type of clouds and dust and still they can give us information about even if the movement is very small even if it is moving just 0.1 inches it can measure it this is the quality of sar synthetic aperture radar so that it can produce a high resolution images and because of its precision only the radar can penetrate clouds and darkness here i have explained you which means that it can collect data day and night and in any weather very important part okay basically it will scan the globe whole earth every 12 days after every 12 days this will scan the globe and try to analyze whether the movement of the earth has happened about what thing has happened here over the course of 3 years for 3 years every 12 days it will map okay it will map all the things such as your eye sheet see eyes to give a proper to give a proper information clear so this is everything about your synthetic aperture radar you need to understand fine okay so with this let us move to the next topic from the next part the i have told you that we will cover it in very different parts first part is your space technology part 1 which we have done right now part 1 we have done next topic we will be discussing in your upcoming part 2 and then part 3 part 4 depending upon the topics and your coverage but i am i will make sure that i will cover each and every topic very holistically and in a very comprehensive way so this will be your one stop solution guys for your all the topics and also i would like to tell you that after science and technology we are bringing environment also we are bringing economy also we are also bringing your mapping where we will cover whole places in news and ir bodies related and also we will come out with your art and culture we have taken all the difficult topics for aspirant because we want that aspirant should face all these topics and all these subjects in a very confident way so with this i am ending the lecture and i hope you liked it do comment share and give us feedback that what we can improve and don't miss the next part which is coming very shortly till then keep revising